What can I do to increase the chances of my case not being refused? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. For those of you who don't know, we're doing live YouTube Ask Me Anything uh, immigration-wise questions on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon central. <clears throat> and uh, I try to get to as many questions as we can. We really like it. It's much better than reading the questions off a of chat. People are actually coming on camera and asking me questions, so I've made some new friends and I've, I've enjoyed that so far. So you can catch past episodes on our YouTube channel and you can join us any Tuesday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Time. And in one of our recent episodes, Mohammed asked a question in the chat, which we didn't get to, so I thought I'd answer it for you here. Mohammed's case just got to the National Visa Center, which means it's eventually going to go to the embassy. And he's wondering, what can I do to increase the chances of my case getting approved? Or what he asked was, how do I go about trying to uh, keep my case from being refused? So if your case ends up at the embassy and you're not given a visa immediately, you will receive a refusal notice. And Muhammad is wisely thinking, what can I do to try to prevent a refusal notice? Well, refusal notices usually come about because the foreign national is not prepared for their interview. They don't know the facts of the case. They don't know enough information about their loved one. They may have demonstrated a, a real strong desire to come to the United States, not necessarily that they're really in love, but just that it's really, really important for them to come to the United States. So talking in the interview about being in love, about being with your partner, about why you wanna um, be together, how hard it's been to be apart, and then demonstrating that you know all the details about your spouse, where they were born, um, how many times they've been married, how many kids they have, if any, um, and then of course the story of how you met. And the story has to make sense. If it sounds weird or random, or it looks like you were trolling for a spouse on a dating website just to get out of your home country and get to America, that's going to make it harder. So, Muhammad, what you should be doing is practicing with your spouse, getting them ready for the interview, asking them questions that you think might come up at the interview, and then making sure that your documents are organized and, and um, comprehensive, that you haven't left anything behind, and then just really um, try to keep a clear mind, try to get ready for the interview. Um, and try to put your spouse in the best position for success. And the best way to do that is to practice. Now, they don't want to come across as having rehearsed everything, but if they know their facts like this, that's going to be a lot better than if they go, what city was your spouse born in? Uh, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Um, and then maybe getting it wrong, right? That's all bad. So you want to be very direct. You want to look at the officer. You want to be able to answer the questions and to be very confident in your answers so that you don't get um, refused. Hope this helped. Give us a call if it didn't, 314-961-8200. You can email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. If you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, that you um, find us on Instagram at Hacking Law Practice LLC. And finally, like I said, with those um, Ask me anything questions on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon on YouTube in our Facebook group, Immigrant Home. We'd love to see you there, and you can ask whatever questions you want. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.